Hey, Shalom on my kim. <clears throat> First and foremost, I want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Hey, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth that's constantly ruling well through the spirit and power of Yahweh, while Yahweh Shai. Shalom to the Bukharium, to the elect brethren that's constantly pushing this word in truth and sincerity. That's not wavering to the left nor to the right, but constantly standing on that straight and they're fighting for your crowns. And, um, you know, shalom to the aquas out there. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners um, that are scattered abroad. And um, as always, we got to give honor and glory to our powers. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai for opening our minds. Okay. And um, this is going to be just a little quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Just dealing with, you know, what the elder brothers were going into. Um, you know, Elder Mawatazak, you know, and the brother uh, Mike Ala, you know, dealing with. Um, what we go through here in Babylon, man, and um, as we know that, you know, we're not here for our pleasures, we're not here for our rest. Um, the Lord put us here to punish us, okay? And um, the key word that them bros used was um, uh, chaffed, okay, which um, looking into that word, you know, this is these these emotions these are what we go through this is what we deal with okay while being here you know we feel the emotion of anger the people that we got to deal with all right um hey wickedness is all around us the things that we experience the things that we see okay we're, we're like spiritual jobs all right we we as much as we want to do right and we want to um uh um live in a righteous world we don't all right we live in the valley of the shadow of death where you know um um, that wicked energy is all around us, okay, so, you know, it causes us to be anger, you know, angry, you know what I'm saying, it causes us to be annoyed, you know, we find ourselves irritated, you know, um, you know, hey, our women are demons, um, people are just demons, um, we deal with all types of, you know, hell that just, you know, comes out of the blue, you know what I'm saying, and these are things that you got to expect while being here, okay? You got to go through all these different emotions because, hey, as the Lord's woman, you know, the Lord is going to make us love him even more, make make us remember, you know, who's the one in control, who's the one that we need to cry to, who's the one that we need to, you know, beg for mercy. And, um, you know, we also got to remember that, man, as we feel these emotions and, you know, we go through the scriptures and understand that um, we have hope at the end of the day, you know, we have hope, all right? We have hope, okay, and and guess what? Who's the greatest example of our hope, which is you know Yahweh Shai, okay? Um, let me get the scripture real fast. This is um, <clears throat> John chapter sixteen, verse thirty three. It says, "These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace," okay. And this is what's comforting to our minds because, you know, we're vexed with the filthy communication here. You know, we're tired of suffering. You know, we're tired of going through, you know, baby mama drama, you know, being taxed, okay? Having holes in our pockets, dealing with financial burdens, you know, car problems, you know what I'm saying? We're tired of struggling. We're tired of the wickedness that, you know, our people exhibit, okay? That our people glorify in. You know, we're tired of seeing all manner of wickedness, period. But see, as we, um, you know, get closer to the end and we see that the prophecy is coming to pass, you know, it gives us peace because we, you know, we, we believe that what the scriptures say and the Lord is showing us these things and it gives us hope, man, okay, to make it to uh, where we want to be, okay? And, and we want to make it into those chariots, you know, we want to make it into those chairs. So when we feel in these emotions, Okay, the scriptures is what centers us to bring us back into, you know, the right mind frame of, you know, when we're dealing with these particular uh, uh, subjects or topics or these different emotions that we go through. Okay, and uh, we got to know that Yahweh Shai had to deal with it. Remember when Yahweh Shai was uh, born, okay, his parents had to flee into Egypt, you know, being persecuted by um, Herod the Great. All right, you know, um, Yahweh Shai had to deal with. You know, the wickedness of our people. You know what I'm saying? How I was born into captivity, all right, the Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
um, you know, people wanted to put their hands on you, how was I kill him? And, you know, he had to go through emotions as well, okay? You know, he was in the flesh. You know, he, he was pressed upon. He, you know, he cried uh, uh, tears of blood, okay? He felt it through the spirit, all right? And, um, you know, how much more of us are right, we are no greater than our Lord when we feel the persecution, when we feel the, the, the sorrow, when we when we feel the, the pains, the heaviness of mind. OK, but hey, these these emotions that we feel and these things that we go through are experiences and things that we need to make us strong. All right. So it says that in me, you might have peace in the world. You shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. OK, and that's important because Yahweh I overcame the world. OK, and this is the, the, the spirit that we pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh bestows upon us to be able to um, maintain our integrity, to be able to. Uh, control our emotions to be able to get through what we go through okay these these uh many fold temptations these trials these tribulations okay remember we're not of this world so we're not going to be accepted into this world we're not going to have the things that everybody else have that's why the scriptures say hey envy not at the wicked okay be not even angry with them because they have their consolation they have their prize but guess what you know our our prize in our day is coming as well all right which we 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 see the bigger picture okay we're praying we're we're hastening unto the coming day we're looking for your house shy while we're enduring through these times while we're enduring okay the afflictions and the things that we go through let me go to first peter chapter one verse six all right it says wherein you greatly rejoice Though now for a season, if need be, you are in heaviness through many fold temptations, okay? We are in heaviness through many fold temptations, okay? Now, mind you, let's see what let's see what it says in the NLT. It says, Be truly glad. There is wonderful joy ahead. Okay. We know that Yahweh Shai went to prepare a place for us, okay? If if it wasn't so, he wouldn't have told us about it, okay? Okay, we know that this place is not our rest, but we seek a continuing city, which we're getting ready to receive that continuing city, all right, which is going to be the kingdom of heaven, being able to rejoice, to sing upon our beds, all right, to have the woman that we can't enjoy here, to have the the, the children that we want to be able to enjoy here, okay, you know, we're not going to suffer when we make it, all right, we endure, okay, and we prove ourselves, remember, this is the thing about enduring and improving ourselves to Yahweh Shem El Shai, that, you know, hey, we could take it on the chin and be it and still be able to work and move forward, all right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem El Shai, not making no excuses, all right, remember, did Yahweh Shai make any excuses? No, okay, he said, I'm about my father's business, I'm here to do the will of my father, and we have to carry that same mindset, okay, Remember, mental fortitude, toughness, all right? Tough role for strong men, okay? So it says, even though you have to endure many trials for a little while, these are only just for a little season, okay? It says that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perish, that it, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Remember, everything that we go through now, okay? Um, when everything is all said and done, honor, praise, and glory, okay? Your name will be known through generations, okay? Your name will be known through generations, okay? The angels will honor you, all right? How is Shai going to honor um, the elect, the chosen, okay? Remember, Yahweh Shai, the king of kings, is going to put crowns on the elect's head, that's that's a form of honor, okay? He's gonna put crowns on the elect's head himself, okay? For for being able to to stay firm, okay? To 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 be able to handle your business, okay? Do what you gotta do while being in this uh bitter ass place that we live in, okay? Remember, the heavenly Father know that this place is bitter. Yahweh Shai know that this place is bitter, okay? But remember, the Lord is testing us to see what we're made of, okay? It says, these trials will show that your faith is genuine, okay? It is being tested as fire tests and purifies gold, though your faith is far more precious than mere gold. So when your faith remains strong, 
through many trials, it will bring you much praise and glory and honor on the day when Yahweh Shai Mashiach is revealed to the whole world. Okay, and oh boy, when Yahweh Shai is revealed to the whole world, okay, remember all knees are going to bow, okay, while we're going to be looking steadfast up. Okay, rejoicing in the coming day of Yahweh Shai, okay, because we know, all right, who Yahweh Shai is. He, remember, he has been revealed unto us. He has not been revealed to the whole world. They have not accepted him, but he has allowed us to accept him, okay? That is honor right there within itself. Let's go to the next scripture that I have, all right? just want to bring out a couple scriptures, okay? Um, let me see. I'm going to find it in the book of um, Proverbs. I believe, okay, because it mentioned us being um, gold or silver or that precious stone, okay, you know, and sometimes when we, when we, you know, go through these different trials and tribulations, we, we feel like we're alone, but guess what, you know, we're not, we're not alone, you know, brothers go through it themselves, you know, brothers, you know, man, got ailments where they find themselves in a, in a, in a hospital, you know what I'm saying, Brothers go through periods where they just broke, you know, trying to figure out how to get them bills paid. You know what I'm saying? Brothers go through all different types of situations, all right? But guess what? The Lord always comes through for for his chosen. He always comes through for his men, okay? You know, and that's why we don't have nothing to worry about. We don't have nothing to um, fear or be down about because Yahweh Shemosh has always got our backs, all right? Proverbs 25 and 4, it says... Take away the dross from the silver, and there shall come forth a vessel for the finer. Okay? Now, when you read that in the NLT, it says, remove the impurities from silver. Okay? And that's a part of what that fire does. Okay? It removes the impurities from us. So that way, when the time of salvation, deliverance come, we can be found worthy. We can be found honorable okay in that time okay it says and the sterling will be ready for the silversmith okay and who's the silversmith all right yeah how about shimao shai is the silversmith okay matter of fact let's go there real fast to the book of um um malachi okay what is it i believe malachi is maybe the second chapter okay mm. Bear with me for a second as I look. Maybe it's the third chapter. Okay. Here it is. 